In this video, we'll be talking about how to get your color palette all set up with your new website. So before we talk about getting those colors installed, I just want to talk through the color system that I use. So we'll go to the start here page and it's telling us to click the preview button in the top corner. So to do that, we'll click that preview button and then that'll open this getting started guide up in a way that is really easy to follow. So I just want to talk about the color system here. So um, basically what this is, is um, how I set up all the colors in all of my templates and any uh, website that I design so that it's really easy to change out your own colors and make sure that it, everything's still looking really good without making a lot of changes. So for example, the number one spot, we have um, the dark text on light backgrounds. Number two, we have light text on dark backgrounds and so on. You can continue reading those, but it's really important to follow these. So I would always recommend keeping like your um, splash color or most important links color here. In this case, it is a very, um, uh, like black and white, very neutral template. So number three just has uh, the color black. Um, but I would recommend keeping that as your splash color. So the color that you want all of your links to be in and or your buttons to be in. Um, and then I would keep number one and number six for a dark background color or for, uh, for dark colors in general. Um, number two, number seven, and number eight, I would keep as your very lightest colors like white or off whites. And number four and five is where you can bring in any secondary colors or optional um, additional brand colors that you have. So using this color system will really just save you a lot of headaches moving forward. So going back into your Show It Design app, um, where you want to go first is to click on the design settings on the top left. This will bring up your brand color palette for your website. So we're going to want to actually start entering your own brand colors. So hopefully you have these set saved somewhere as hex codes. Um, I'm just going to pull up an example here. So uh, we'll start, go ahead and start with um, the number one spot on here. And so we're going to want this to be a dark color because this is going to be, as we follow this color system, it's going to be any dark text on light backgrounds. So let's look at our color options here. And I think maybe charcoal would be a good option here because it's a very dark color that would look nice on a lighter background. So we'll go ahead and paste that in there. Maybe number two spot needs to be a light color. So let's go ahead and choose either ivory or bone. I'd say let's, let's go with, let's go with bone actually. And we'll paste that right in there. I also know that that's our lightest color, so I'm gonna go ahead and already paste it into number eight as well. Hit okay. Um, our next color needs to be our, if we're looking at the getting started guide and the color system, it needs to be our splash color that's gonna be used for buttons. So in our case, I think I want that to be this brown color because it's the most um, like saturated color that we have. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste that into the number three spot. Number four, I think I want to use this tan because it's one of our additional secondary colors in our color palette. Number five um, will be number five on our chart. So that's the cream color. I think we'll be good in that spot. Number six, I think I want that to be our darkest color in our palette. So we'll copy and paste that in. You could also use the same exact color for one and six. I, I do that all the time. That doesn't um, make too much of a difference. Number seven, I think I want to be this um, ivory color. So we'll copy and paste that right in here. And hit OK. And then we have eight in there already. So we'll go ahead and hit save and see how, if we go to the home page, how that kind of transforms the design a little bit. Um, we don't see too much change because this is a very neutral palette. Um, but, and you can also play with those as you like, but I just want to show you too what happens when we stray away from this color system and start putting um, colors in spots that they don't belong. Um, so let's say if we were to change, use this cream color and put it in spot number one, and maybe we use this color here and put it in spot number six and spot number eight, for example, we'll hit okay. You can already start to see the issue here. So it gives it a whole different look. Um, so and it, it'll cause you to have to make some changes in here to make sure that you can read things and see things okay. So that's why I just recommend really sticking to this color system when you are setting up 
your color palette.